Crossovers are quickly replacing mid-sized sedans as the vehicle of choice for American families. In most cases, they're roomy and provide the driver with a commanding view of the road, and with the common availability of all-wheel drive, they at least give the impression of secure performance in slippery situations. But no matter how sophisticated the vehicle's all-wheel drive system may be, it's still just maximizing whatever traction the tires can provide. And while we know the safest option is to utilize a dedicated set of summer tires and a dedicated set of winter tires, this ideal doesn't always fit into every driver's reality. All season tires have been around for about 40 years, and they're typically marketed as a one-tire solution for mobility in all conditions. But their M plus S branding only signifies a tire's tread pattern meets specific requirements. It doesn't make a promise of any level of performance. On the other hand, to be branded with the Three Peak Mountain Snowflake symbol, a tire has to be capable of delivering longitudinal snow traction that meets a certain threshold. This symbol was originally developed as a designation for winter tires, but is now making its way onto all season tires that meet these traction requirements. And while Three Peak Mountain Snowflake branded all season tires can't match the capability of a true winter tire in all adverse weather conditions, drivers can expect at least a minimum standard of traction in the snow. To see how two new Three Peak Mountain Snowflake branded tires perform compared to a top-rated all-season tire without the symbol, the Tyrac team compared the BF Goodrich Advantage TA Sport and Vredestein Quattrac 5 to the Pirelli Scorpion Verde All-Season Plus. Let's see what we found out. To begin the test, I'm driving the vehicle equipped with the BF Goodrich Advantage TA Sport LT. As a touring tire, the BF Goodrich does a good job. It has the softest ride quality here, and even though there's a little bit of tread noise that makes its way into the cabin, it's not distracting. The steering feel follows the same pattern. It's a little bit slower to react than the Pirelli or the Bedestein, so it's more relaxed as opposed to engaging. Now I'm driving the vehicle equipped with the Pirelli Scorpion Verde All Season Plus. This tire strikes a great balance between sport and touring. The ride's controlled, but it does a good job of isolating most impacts, so it never feels overly firm. And it's the quietest tire here, in both tread noise and impact noise. The steering's nicely weighted and just has a natural feel to it. It makes it very predictable and easy to place the vehicle exactly where you want it through turns. To round out the test, I'm driving the vehicle equipped with the Verdestein Quadtrack 5. Some of the characteristics of this tire feel almost like a performance tire. The ride's taut and controlled and rather firm, and there's some noticeable boom over impacts. Similarly, the steering is fast and eager, and there's a lot of weight to it. Though it's unlikely any of these tires will end up on the racetrack, the performance capabilities of crossovers and SUVs continues to increase, and their handling has evolved to become more car-like. It's important the tire's capabilities evolve along with the vehicles, both to match their characteristics and to ensure the tires aren't the weak link in an emergency situation. All three tires here demonstrated the ability to confidently bring the vehicle to a stop, and they exhibited widely varied personalities on the track, with the Pirelli feeling the most natural and at home in that environment. The Verdestein felt locked down and securely planted, but didn't have the athletic nature of the Pirelli, and while the BF Goodrich was less than half a second behind the other two tires, it felt soft and out of place on the track. Security in wet conditions is an expectation most consumers have when purchasing a crossover or SUV, but again is limited by the traction the tires can provide. Here the Verdestein Quadtrack 5 proved very capable, with the fastest average lap time, the highest lateral G-figures on the skid pad, and the shortest 50 to 0 mile an hour stopping distances. The Pirelli was half a second behind in average lap times, relying on its balance and natural athleticism to partially overcome its lower objective capabilities. The BF Goodrich was a significant step back from the other two tires here, and while the all-wheel drive system of our test vehicles could work with the available traction to accelerate nearly as fast as the others, braking distance and lateral grip were noticeably lower, so the driver had to apply the brakes much earlier to slow the vehicle adequately and avoid understeer through the turns. Just like crossovers and SUVs are becoming the go-to choice for American families, we expect Three Peak Mountain Snowflake branded touring tires to become the standard for the category. With their added longitudinal traction beyond what's typically provided by M plus S branded all-season tires, this new wave should help the modern family vehicle live up to its image by delivering an added dose of confidence during year-round driving. The Pirelli Scorpion Verde All-Season Plus provides a great blend of attributes for a crossover and SUV touring all-season tire. It's quiet, comfortable, and engaging on the road, feels athletic on the dry track, and balanced and confident in the wet. 
The Verdestein Quattrack 5 feels sporty on the road with a firm ride and some moderate impact noise. It feels locked down and secure in dry track testing and has the strongest wet traction in this test. The BF Goodrich Advantage TA Sport LT has the most comfortable ride quality in the test with relaxed steering and mild tread growl. It feels out of place but it's ultimately capable in the dry and its wet traction needs a big bump to keep up with the best in the category. The perception of capability in the ice and snow is a significant driving factor in the move toward crossovers and SUVs, and we're looking forward to the upcoming winter season so we can test all three of these tires to find out how each one performs during the challenge of wintertime driving. As we compare tires side by side, we find each one has its own personality, so it's not as easy as simply choosing between good and bad. So as you view our test results, it's important to focus on your priorities and what fits best with how, where, and what you drive. And also be sure to go to TireRack.com to read our full test report and to learn more about the tires featured in this test.